Hello, my name is Aaron and welcome to Board Games, Bricks and Hobbies. This is Four of a Kind, a series where I take a look at one game and give you four suggestions that you might also enjoy. Today we are taking a look at the classic two-player card game, Lost Cities. Alright, so one of the aspects I enjoy about Lost Cities is that it's a quick two-player card game with a lot of interesting choices. And this next game is no different. It is Shot and Totten, also known as Battle Line, and it's from the same designer, so it makes sense that they feel similar. Uh, and in this game, you are essentially playing tug of war with your opponent, trying to play runs and sets of cards on your side to bring the line over to your end. Uh, and it, in a sense, it feels like a more directly competitive version of Lost Cities, uh, but I think it's still distinct enough to check out both of them. That is Shot and Totten. All right, so this next game feels similar to Lost Cities in the sense that it has a lot of interesting choices around which cards to play, discard, or keep in your hand. And this game is Arboretum. Arboretum is a game for two to four players, and what makes this interesting is that your scoring is based off of the cards in your hand at the end of the game. Uh, so it leads to some interesting situations where you want to play a card for to get more points in your tableau, however, you also need to keep enough cards in your hand so that you can score those colors. And you also don't want to get rid of some cards because they're going to help your opponents because they'll just draw them from the discard, but you also don't want them clogging up your hand. So a lot of interesting choices in Arboretum. All right, so this next game is similar to Lost Cities in that it's pretty easy to get negative points. Well, I guess in a way it's kind of the opposite because the game is no thanks. And in this game, points are actually bad. So you are trying to get as few points as possible by using your chips to uh, try and kind of uh, manipulate the cards and not end up with high numbers because all the cards have numbers on them and numbers are points and points are bad. Uh, so an interesting twist, uh, I think, and goes up to multiple players. That is no thanks. All right, so the last game on this list is actually the only board game that made the list and it's not the Lost Cities board game. It is Northern Pacific. Now, this game gave me Lost City vibes because once you have started down a path, you cannot retreat. Uh, throughout the course of the game, you're going to be placing supply cubes on various cities or moving a train across the tracks. And uh, once a city has been passed, if there's any supplies cubes on it, too bad, those are going to be negative points. Uh, so similar to Lost Cities, uh, that is Northern Pacific, a super forgettable board game title. Uh, but feels very similar to Lost Cities. Uh, so those are my thoughts on Four of a Kind, uh, games that are similar to Lost Cities. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are there any games that I missed? And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care. Bye.